In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement an activity indicator. So an activity indicator is this one right here that shows the user that something is going on in the background and you say to the user, hey, please wait, I'm fixing something. So if you want to know how to implement an activity indicator, just keep watching because I will show you how in this video right here. So let's see how we implement an activity indicator. So the first step is of course, opening Xcode and creating a single view application. Click next and I'm just going to call this activity indicator and make sure that the language is set to Swift. Click next and save it wherever you like. Okay, full screen. And what I want my application to do is I want it to display the activity indicator when I click on a button and then stop the activity indicator when I click another button. So I'm just going to drag in two buttons, one button, two button. The first one is going to say, let's see, it's going to be start and the second one is going to be stop. So this button is going to stop the activity, in, in activity indicator and this one is going to start the activity indicator. I'm going to just place them a bit lower. There we go. And then I'm going to drag in, let's see, I'm going to drag in each of the two buttons. So the first one is going to be, I'm going to call it start. Make sure, oops, now the caps lock start. It's going to be an action. Connect it, just like that. And then the second one is going to be the stop button. Let's see, stop, action, there we go. All set up, at least concerning the buttons. Now I'm just going to switch over to the view controller and do the rest of this tutorial with code and in the view controller. So the first thing that we do is we create our activity indicator. So activity indicator and it's going to be an UI activity indicator view and it's going to be equal to an UI activity indicator view. So here we have our activity indicator and now we're just going to specify some of the details of that activity indicator. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to center the activity indicator so that it appears in the middle of the screen. So we just find the center of the view and make that the center of our activity indicator. Then we make sure that each time we stop the activity indicator that it also hides. So we can just say, hey, activity ind indicator, stop, and then it also hides. It. If we don't do this, we will have to hide it and stop it. So now we just have to stop it and it will hide automatically. And we set this to true. Then we're going to say the activity indicator dot activity indicator view style is equal to UI activity indicator view style dot gray. Just all boring gray. That's what we're going to be satisfied with right now. And then we just add the activity, add a sub view and it's going to be our activity indicator. So just to recap, we center the activity indicator in the center of the view controller. We then make sure that it also hides when we stop it. We set the style to gray and we add it to our view so that we can actually see the activity indicator. And then because this is the start button, we say activity indicator dot start animating. Just like that and it will start animating. And for the stop button, we're going to say activity indicator dot stop animating. And let's try out this application and see what we've got so far. So here is our application. Let's click on the start button. There we go. There is our activity indicator. And when we click stop, it stops. When we click start, it starts. And we click stop. 
But the thing is that even though it's loading, we can still click on the buttons. Now, this is something you want to disable because let's say you are running a, pro a process and then you don't want the user to interact with, with the, your application while you're loading something or doing a certain process. So you also want to make sure that your application stops receiving any inputs. So the way you do that is you just set the UI application, UI application um, dot shared dot begin ignoring interaction events. So by doing this, you make sure that when the activity indicator is present, that the user can't interact with your app. And then of course, when you have finished that process, that background process, you simply say UI application dot shared dot um, stop, let's see, and, and ignoring interaction events. That's it. So here you stop ignoring them and there you end in, and ignoring them. And this is something you want to do when the process that you are currently engaging in and therefore displaying the activity indicator, when that process is done, you want to run, run this piece of code right here. So let's test it out. And you can guess what the problem is going to be right now, but I'm going to show you what we've got so far. And as you see, I can click the start button, the activity indicator starts, but of course we have set it to ignore my interaction with the app, so I can't do anything more right now. But this is how you would implement an activity indicator. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. Also, thank you for watching, and I will see you back in the next video.